Hi, uh, this is uh, another presentation by eOracle Labs. This presentation is about how to create user and groups with Oracle WebLogic Server Admin Console. So to create a users and group with a WebLogic Server Admin Control, first log into your WebLogic Server Admin Console. So let's go and log in. So by default, WebLogic Server has a one user named WebLogic. So log in with that, that user. By default, Oracle ship this product with a username WebLogic and the password is welcome1. Once you log in, just navigate to your left hand side to the domain structure window as shown. In the domain structure, go to security RAMs. Just click on that and you can see my RAM. Click on that and here you can see a lot of options regarding the user and groups and all. So just click on the users and groups. You need not to do any lockout. Just go to user and groups. Here you can see a username WebLogic and Oracle system user. So let's create a new user. I select new and create a user. Let's give a name e Oracle app. Now let's select the provider if you have many. I have only one default provider so I need not to do anything else. So um, provide a password. Click OK. So we have a user created in the system. Let's create another user. This time I'm creating Oracle 1. give a password and click OK. Once this is done, let's create a group. And creating creating group is also very simple. Just select the group and give a name. say ok so here you can see your group got created here now let's go back to the users again now we want to assign this user to the group which we have just created so just uh, select the user uh, from there you select the group from the available group let's see if we can see our group or not see this is our group select from available to chosen one save it that's it Let's go back. User and groups. Now let's go to the group. We have a uh, our group here. Is our group is there. Let's go to the membership. And if you want to, oh no, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, let's go back to user and groups. Go to the user. Select on Oracle apps, and you can see this is a part of a Oracle group. That's for this presentation. So we can see how easy it is to create user and groups with via Oracle Web Server Admin Console. Thank you very much.